hello everyone welcome back to another episode in my unreal engine survival series so in this episode we are going to work on the objectives uh, showing objectives when the player need so it will be so that was the demo so when we want to print the objective into the screen so we are going to uh, create a rich text component for that so that's why you have an outline so that we can see no matter the direction we are looking at no matter what's in the background we can clearly see the objective text and also uh, when I press tab it will be printed again to the screen so it will instead of popping up uh, the whole text at once it will be printed to the screen one by one like this so right so because doing that uh, the player will have players attention will go to the top left of uh, corner of the screen because instead of just popping up uh, the appearing of text one by one makes it more active that region of the screen so players attention will grabbed by that so that's why I wanted to do it that way right so this episode is sponsored by this generous patron this generous patron thank you very much for your support right at the moment my objective just shows up like this so it doesn't have any kind of uh, animation or uh, any special effect so it just pops up like this objective one so yeah just like this so because of that um, the player might not really notice this so we need to do something about that so how can we get the attention of the player to the top left corner also uh, this font is not visible enough in this background so yeah maybe instead of using let me delete the text instead of using a normal text we can do we can use a rich text block let's add one here just like the text objective 300 600 all right position y is 70 here let's make it no here let's make it 50 and 50 oh. 100 would be better okay and then um this size what was the size 300 by 100 all right now here we can't just type like this objective one we can't no even if I type it it doesn't show up properly so we have to create a text style set here uh, where is it
data table and select rich text style row and press ok now i'll call it rt ui right now here let's add one select the font as this one size let's leave the 24 and let's select that and see if we get the results no all right we have to name this one as default so this is the default setting for the text and yeah now you can see this so but uh, just changing color is not what I want to do I want to add some more effects uh, like color I want to keep as white and let's add a shadow black shadow and offset one by one is that would that be enough I'm not sure we can't see that also here ah yeah we sort of can but it's not enough three by three okay that's not we need an outline also right do we have an option to out all right we have an outline sitting here outline size one outline color black Right, that would work okay that's better so I'll delete this and now let me rename this rt objective we need to replace this text objective let's make this one also a variable it's already a variable instead of this one I need to use the RT objective I can't set text like that set text uh, I can I can set the visibility okay and hide it later on all right now let's see how it looks press the space to get up all right now I pay attention to the top left corner find water yeah that's more clear now okay 
so now uh, instead of just showing the objective let's try to yeah let's print one by one so I'll remove the normal text objective test element I don't need that anymore and then here instead of just setting the text like this I'll do it like this first I'll make the say, uh, text empty make blank like this so can I is there a clear no let's make it blank first and then enable visibility then here let me collapse oh no let's collapse this so object right now here before converting this to a string we can get the length of this one and then get substrings yeah like this now let's define a Let's get this set text and let me define a temporary variable here temp index. So, what I'm trying to do is first. Um, first print the first letter then first letter uh, then uh, no first print the first letter and then the second letter and then the third letter so like that I want to place each uh, character one by one when I show up the objective because in that way uh, some action will going on in the left side of the, the top left side of the screen so the players attention will be there so that's why I need to do it that way and with some sound effects it would highlight for the player uh, let's see if that works otherwise we can get rid of it but first let me try that so this is to define temporary index it should be in the type of integer right and let's set temp index oh, wait set temp wow. index to zero for starting this operation now it should start from one and we should do this whole thing if the length of this one is larger than zero so we should check that here
like this. So how to get the first character only? Well, starting index is 0 and the temporary index is 1. So if I do it like this, then I would only have the first character of the sentence of the objective. And then after that, let's increment the temp index and then let's add the delay of 0 0.1 seconds we can adjust the delay later and then We need to do another check if the temp index is smaller than the length. Oh, we should have called this instead of index temp length. Yeah. The temp length is smaller than length mm. no larger if the temporary length is larger than the actual length then we should stop this and continue here otherwise we should come back to this step like this let's save and see how does that work It did work as expected, but I guess it was a little too fast. So we can increase the time in here. And we can, let's use a longer sentence so that, where do we show the objective? Right here. Instead of fine water, you are very the tea. Find some what right that's better you are very thirsty find some water and we can clearly see this no matter the direction I'm looking at because we have a thick outline and after 30 seconds it would go out I'm not planning to keep it there more than 30 seconds okay it's gone now
right um, also I will define another action to show objective when the player player need to see that again if the player don't in case player don't remember it so let's go to project settings and input action mappings show objective let's use tab key for that right now right uh, <clears throat> now in order to show the objective anytime I want I have to keep that objective somewhere in the memory so where should I keep it maybe I think I should use this player state for that yeah let's go here let's create a new class new player state class let's call it p state god like okay now here yeah let's define an interface to handle the player state ppi player state okay here let's Define a function show current objective. So this don't need any inputs because I'm going to use this one when player request to show the objective. So then also I need another function as update objective. So this will be using used by things like checkpoints so to update the current objective uh, here as the input I need a string maybe later we will use have to use stuff like lists or something because we can have multiple objectives uh, but for now I want to keep it simple so just a uh, string right now in the player state let's define let's implement the interface okay now here update objective event promote this to variable I'll call it current objective and then I'm gonna call show current objective then I'm going to implement show current objective function so this one what it does is get no we have a big play get player controller get hard show objective and as the objective use the current objective right now here instead of calling the show objective let me copy this without this star because I'm going to change it
get state get player state and then update objective objective is you are very thirsty find some water let's reduce the time so it's here to test now we don't have this star here so therefore let's append a star here to whatever the objective we receive a star and a space like this now is everything connected right oh wait a minute I should assign this piece that code like me in the game mode otherwise it wouldn't be used right let's see this works yeah everything is working okay so let's now if i press tab again oh nothing happens all right we have to improve that part so let's open the third person character and where should we implement it Okay, here so objective. No, let's implement this action event show objective like this. Okay, uh, oh, we can get the play state directly. Show current objective. Okay, let's see. that's the uh, automatically popping up the objective if I press tab again you can see it is printed to the screen again so when it is gone we can have it back if we need a reminder like this so it will stay for 30 seconds Yeah, now it's gone so let's press again we have the objective back all right so i think that would be enough for today so in the next episode i want to implement something like a pond here so the character has to uh, look around the island and find that pond and from that pond he can drink water okay so i'll stop this episode at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye